You know, I fell in love with string quartets at PMP. Uh, as Mrs. Perlman said, I was 12 years old. I grew up here. I'm a violinist, and um, this is the place that shaped me. And to come back as a composer, I don't think I ever dreamed that this, this would happen. It means so much to me um, that Mrs. Perlman and Mary and Anna, and with the help of Sylvia and Bob Fitzpatrick, had this incredibly beautiful and, to be honest, um, healing idea and opportunity to commission a string quartet in memory of our beloved Roger. And to me, as Mary said so beautifully, he was sort of love of chamber music in a human form, love of individuality, of that sensitivity, that tender intimacy that can only happen when we play chamber music. And I wanted this piece to feel like that embrace that Roger gave each and every one of us. Guided by that love, by his sound, by his spirit, um, I was able to see what's important about music. And that was really my only goal with this piece is to, to make it feel like Roger. The piece is one, one long, it's continuous. It has five sections in it. You will hear a lot of like waves. There's a bar choral section. There's a little line from E. Cummings where he talks about raindrops. Um, there are bells. And it ends in a feeling of home. And um, the piece is connected to one of my favorite string quartets that I was lucky enough to read with Roger. The, we used to gather all the time in New York with some friends and read together. And the last session we had, we read the string quartet that is sort of in the roots of this piece. And so if you hear something familiar, hopefully it feels like home and it feels like Roger. And I'm just so grateful. So thank you all. <laughs>